Okay, well, uh, I'm going to do a little review on this chainsaw. I just picked it up. It was $149 Canadian plus tax, so 157 bucks here. And uh, with tax and everything, I couldn't pass it up. I actually got to the store and uh, apparently the sale was over, but since they still had the tag out, they still gave it to me for that for that price. So it's got uh, it's got some pretty good features. I mean, it's a 52 cc saw, 20 inch bar with an Oregon uh, uh, bar and chain. Well, the bar is for sure, anyways. It's got the recoil quick start, anti vibration handle, and a three year warranty. So, <laughs> you know, for 150 bucks. We'll see. It says 18 pounds. Seems a bit heavy for a 52 cc saw, but maybe, maybe I'm not uh, right on that. But we'll see. Anyways, we're gonna unbox it here and see what it all comes with. For 150 bucks, we're gonna we're gonna put it through it uh, through its paces here. Put it put it to the test. So I uh, weighed this saw, and it actually weighs 14 and a half pounds, full of fuel and oil, and that's including the bar and chain. here we got holy smokes pretty good deal for uh, 100, 150 bucks so, got the manual got a little mixed bottle 30 it says 30 to 1 and 40 to 1 that's kind of cool holy geez it comes with uh, comes with borrow uh, what's this say Oh, this is bar and chain oil, so it comes with a little bit of oil. Or, well, it looks like two-stroke oil, but we'll see on that. Comes with the Oregon chain. The scrunch. And an Allen key. Oh, what else we got here? There's a 20 inch bar. Looks to be pretty heavy duty. And uh, what else we got here? It's got the bar guard. I mean, this is an awesome deal. We'll see how it runs. I mean, I'm not expecting much, but. Yeah, for 150 bucks. We'll see. And there she is, the saw. Okay. Well, I gotta say, I like the color of it. It says it has anti-vibration, so it must be back in here, built into here or something. Oh yeah, okay, I see the rubber now. Okay, well it's got a uh, choke here, definitely. You know, feels kind of kind of cheap, but it was cheap. A little primer bulb here. The uh, operator presence uh, safety thing here. I originally said it felt cheap, but uh, I think it was just because the choke lever was just not in its place. So I, I eventually cover. ended up fixing that. An air filter. Then it feels good now. Ended up. Uh, doing quite a bit of cutting with this saw after the review and this thing gets hardly any sawdust at all up in the carburetor area like it's a really really good system comes with a champion uh, spark plug well, you can hear the springs there for the anti-vibe Got a little rubber cover for, uh, or a little rubber piece for the cover. 
I guess so maybe it doesn't rattle and doesn't make a bunch of noise. Put the on off switch, kind of like the old, I think the old Husk Barnas had a style like that. I don't know what this is copied off of. If it's the the still or if it's uh, its own design or what. You'd think it, it would be copied off of something. I think it's cloned off a of Red Max G5000 AVS. It says 50 to 1 is the actual mix they want you to run. We've got uh, 40 to 1 here we're going to be putting in for the break-in. Does it have a throttle lock? Um, yeah, it does. It does have a throttle lock, so that's cool. Oh, the air filter looks really good. It's got a little O-ring seal and everything. Seems like it uh, should be good to keep the dust out. It is easy to get the cover off and everything. It's just a just a little twist to this uh, knob here, and it comes right off. So there we go. There's that. It's got a chain brake. Covers just the covers just sitting on loose there. And it says it's made in China. And it's uh, it's got home hardware right written right on it, so it's obviously their their saw. I'm sure they make it for other people too. The same probably the same one. But this is going to be home hardware's thing. Oh, it actually comes with a uh, bucking spike, which is nice. A lot of these saws don't come with it, so that's really good. The exhaust looks pretty restrictive. It's got a spark arrestor and everything in here, but we'll see how it, uh, it's probably gonna be quiet, and uh, who knows, maybe later on we'll do a muffler mod to it, <laughs> if it lasts that long. It's got really good compression, that's for sure. This is for the oil. Bar oil. Be nice if they made the the handles a little wider here to grab onto, but anyway, they didn't. Does the trick. Yeah, it says fifty to one. We're going to mix it 40 to 1 for the first little bit till it's broken in and we'll see how it goes. Let's get some, uh, I'll get some, uh, some fuel in it and uh, we'll just see how it runs before we put the bar on. We'll just pull the uh, cover off here for the chain brake. There it is. Oh, and this is a kind of a nice feature. It's got the adjustment for the chain on the outside, so that's good. Instead of coming in from the front where it's hard to get at, they put it there. So it's a, it's actually got a lot of good features. We'll see it. Like I said, we'll see how it runs and all, but um, for how long it lasts. <laughs> it's got uh, three nice big shoes here for the clutch. I'm going to fire it up before I put the bar on. We're just going to see how how well it oils here for the chain. Looks like it's got a lot of, uh, they really opened it up here. A lot of saws, they come pretty closed off. And it, it holds a lot of heat in. I find it makes them vapor lock, or certain saws will vapor lock. This one seems pretty nice and wide open there. It feels really light. Like it's, for 52 cc's actually, it does feel feels light. Let's we'll see how it is when everything's all hooked up. Okay, well it says bar and chain oil, but it almost smells like it's like, you know, as if it's two-stroke oil. Anyways, it's going in the bar because uh, I use my own 
oil for all these saws. I don't use the Chinese oil. I just use good oil and good fuel and non-ethanol and I never have to worry about anything that way. So we'll just put this in the, uh, for the, for the chain oil. It will be good for that, for sure. I wouldn't run the whole thing. I'm going to add my, my oil to it. It only uh, filled it up maybe a quarter anyways, but... Well, this is hard work. I'm going to have to have a beer. Oops, overfilled it. It's just got a little tiny, tiny hole. It's not, uh, usually they're a little bit bigger than that, but uh, whatever, it does the trick. Well, the saw definitely seems, you know, cheaper built than a, than a high-end Husky or a, or a still, but uh, it's got some really nice features. Like it actually, you can actually adjust the, the chain oiling. So we'll play with that and see how it works and everything. And um, yeah, we're gonna fire it up. The choke looks pretty good. Um, the choke set up, put the choke on, and it automatically puts it in uh, like to a throttle lock. But then when you shut the choke off, it still keeps it in the throttle lock and then it clicks off. So I like that feature. And the, the primer bulb is really easy to get to here. Let's see if it works here. There we go. Seems to work good. We'll see if it fires up. I primed it. Choke on. Ignition on. Let's see if she fires up. Oh, she fired already there. I'm actually pretty surprised and impressed. It <laughs> runs really good. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and throw this bar and chain on. It's got the roller tip or whatever you call it. Yeah, looks good. Um, it's actually got the, I forget the name of the sprocket, but it's actually got the higher end sprocket too, not just the, uh, the lower end. <laughs> I don't know the name of it, but it's the same, uh, it's the same style as my, uh, higher end Husky saws have just easier. It holds the chain on a little better. Rim sprocket or something. I don't know what they call them. Anyway, this is, uh, this is looking like a pretty darn good deal for 150 bucks. I'm I'm kind of wishing I would have got two of them now.
Chain brake has a little bit of heat tape on it here too, as I see for the exhaust, so that's kind of nice. Actually seems, this part seems well built. This is actually a nice little feature. <clears throat> it's countersunk, so it's easy to get the it's easy to get the scrunch on there. A lot of times you're fiddling around with them, and yeah, this is a good setup. The saw just gets better and better here. it up and um, I'm gonna do a few heat cycles fire it up let it get hot let it cool down let it get hot let it cool down I'll do that a couple of times and then we'll put her into the wood and see how it cuts it definitely seems like it's running rich but I'm at higher elevation here I'm at about 4,500 feet so at 4,500 feet um, I guess the air is a little less dense here a little thinner maybe so I'll have to adjust the carb, and I'm going to look at that and see what they have for, uh, I see the mixture screws are here. I don't know if you can adjust them easily or if I'll have to take the limiter stops out, but I have all the stuff here for that. So yeah, chain rolls really nice. I'm, I'm actually really impressed. I'm, I'm surprised and impressed for what it is, you know, for the price I paid for it. It's, it's a good little saw so far. We'll see how it cuts. Okay, so here's the oiler, and uh, it's kind of got a notch system to it. So that's minimum oiling, and that's max, and it was at max. I'm going to leave it at max until everything's all nice and lubed up. But that's a really nice feature. I can't believe it for a cheap saw that it still that it has that on there. If anybody out there knows what this is cloned off of, like I'm sure it is. You, like if it's a still or a husky or an old Johnson Red. Let me know because, uh, yeah, I'm sure it's not a unique design, or at least I don't think it is. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not, but um, here's the low and the high idle uh, mixture screws, and then that's for the throttle, for the idle. So they've got like a, it's a round circle, solid, with a little hole in the middle. And I have all these tools here but not one of them will uh will adjust that will adjust this saw so i'm either gonna have to see if they actually make that tool I'm sure they do if not i'll just have to grind a slot in them um you know take a little bit of work but i can just put a little slot in them so i can actually adjust them because i'm sure this thing any any saw needs to be adjusted you know depending on temperature and depending on elevation everything they always need to be adjusted this one's running rich. It's not going to run lean and blow up or nothing. That's how they want them set because most people that are buying these saws, you know, they, they don't know how to set them up or how to adjust them. So I'll, uh, I'll do another video later on how to how to set the uh, the carb on this thing, but we'll just try it out of the box, see how it works at, at my elevation here in this temperature. It's probably about, that's probably about 16 degrees Celsius right now. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit for all you Americans or everybody else, but... Um, so it's not, 
real warm, not cold. It's kind of what you'd be usually cutting in in firewood season. So we'll see how, how it works here. Okay, so this is the tool you're going to need, I believe, anyways. Um, you can buy them on Amazon, probably eBay. They have kits that come with 10 of these tools. That's the one I have. And then they have a kit that comes with, a, with 11. And you want the one that uh, has 11 in it, that has that eccentric style. Then you'll be able to adjust it. I ended up just using one of my uh, one of the ones in my other kit. I was just able to put pressure on it and adjust it that way. But um, I'll get the tool there eventually. So this is a spark plug it comes with. It's a Champion um, RCJ6Y. Just one other thing to point out. Um, like typically with Chinese stuff, you know, the threads are never, you know, when you're screwing bolts or nuts in, you know, the threads never seem right. Like they, like everything's just cheap feeling. And on this one, so far, I'm again, I'm I'm surprised, but it it actually feels good. Like the machining and everything has come a long way on these Chinese saws. I mean, I like to support local and support Canadian or 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 the USA when I can, but I mean for 150 bucks, you know, a 50 some cc saw is going to be, you know, 500 bucks roughly for a good brand name saw. So, I mean, I could buy a few saws at, at this price here. This thing retails at 200 bucks. When it goes on sale, it's 150. So, I mean, we'll see. It's got a little heat, um, little heat shield here, which is nice. Keep the heat heat off of the engine, heat away from the carb and stuff. So, yeah, so far it's looking great. The rubber on this thing feels a lot better than the old Chinese stuff. It feels like a higher end, like like just what the high end stuff feels like. And it doesn't smell, it doesn't have that China smell that we used to always have. So that's good. Yeah, it seems pretty uh, pretty high quality for, for what it is. At first it felt really cheap, or at least I thought it was, but um, no, it's it's good so far. I just turned down the oiling actually it's oiling plenty like like too much so um that's really good I, I like that so I turned it right down I think I got it on the second click it's got about five notches that you can go I got it on number two so should be good well one thing when you have a dog like this you always gotta play ball or fetch or whatever you want to call it. We call it playing ball. In this case, we got a little toy. Yep, she's just always wanting to go. She's about, uh, she's just about 15, still giving her. She's got a bad back leg, but she still wants to play. There she goes, limping every step of the way. Oh, choking too. <laughs> Isn't it good getting old? Ah, there you go, girl. She's got it, eh? Oh, she doesn't like to bring it back sometimes. Okay, well, it's had a few heat cycles and it's been sitting in the sun. Let's see how it fires up. Might want the throttle off here. Yeah, so what I do now is I just pull the choke on all the way and then shut it off and that puts it into uh, throttle lock so it holds the throttle open a bit and then I, it starts like first or second pull every time. Okay, so on the hot start thing, you know, after they sit for a while, they uh, 
they need a little extra throttle to get them going. And you seen on before there, it didn't want to fire up right away. So what you got to do here on this saw is you just put the choke on. That actually opens the, th the throttle valve a little bit. But just shut it off before you fire it up. So the choke does go off, you can see. Choke goes off. But the throttle still held open just a little bit. So when it fires up, then you just click it off, right? So choke on, then off, fire it up, and it'll be revving higher, and then just, so there you go. Yeah, I didn't know it had that at first, but uh, now I do, so that's good. Another nice feature. Another thing I just noticed, it's got a heat shield under here as well, or heat tape or whatever you want to call it, above the exhaust. So they didn't cheap out when they built it. Like, I mean, they, they did everything they needed to do to this saw. <laughs> yeah, they did great. Anyway, I keep saying I'm going to go cut with it, so we gotta we got to go cut with it. The chain brake works really good too. going through the manual here and usually you get these Chinese built you know manuals and uh, the wordings all wrong and like it, you just tell somebody that doesn't speak English wrote the wrote the thing but this one is just like any any other good manual it goes into good detail um, there's like lots of specs in here it's like talks about adjusting the carburetor Adjusting the oiling has a breakdown of, of the parts and stuff. So now, am I going to be able to get parts for this thing? Well, we'll see. But um, like, or is it going to be a throwaway? I guess it doesn't matter for 150 bucks. But um, I'm suspecting that they cloned it off something, so we could probably get the parts. If we can't get it from these guys down the road, we could probably get it from Still or Husky or on eBay or Amazon or something. But there you go. So I ended up calling the 1-800 number on the box just to see if they had parts for this thing. And they did. And the cylinder is $16 Canadian. <laughs> like dirt cheap. Piston was $3. I'm sure you have to pay for, you know, uh, the rings and the pin and the clips separately. But still, I mean, the parts are dirt, dirt cheap. So I'm actually going to order a couple of cylinders and... Um, you know, down the road when this thing wears out, I'll be able to rebuild it. And I'll, I didn't price the crankshaft out, but I'll, I'll check that out too, and I imagine it'll be cheap as well. So I got this little gauge here to check the, uh, check the RPM of the engine to see what it's idling at. Running lean here, I ended up adjusting it after and richening it up, giving more fuel on the low end. It was uh, lean on the low end and rich on the high end, getting too much fuel on the top end. It is running a bit lean. Could be just because I'm running 40 to 1 versus 50 to 1. But, uh, We'll fix that up later. It's not running lean on the top end, so that's good. It's still pretty rich. Well, I thought maybe the uh, the bar and chain were made in the USA, but I see that, that they're not. Oh, well, I guess that's what happens. We uh, we want cheap product at the best price, and um, or good products, but at the cheapest price, so everybody had to move to China to get everything built there. It's too bad it's not built in the US, USA and Canada anymore, but I guess that's how it goes. Still an American company though, I think, so so that part's good. Well, it actually comes with this little 
gas container here, which is pretty nice. Makes it a little easier to pour it in here, I think. Or not. <laughs> oh, never mind. There's something in the end of it here. There, that might make it a little easier. Yeah, that's nice to have. Right on. running really rich here it's getting way too much fuel but uh, I ended up leaning it out after it was broken in and yeah it actually rips really good now that's all and impressed and uh, okay well final review it's uh, it's a pretty darn good little saw I mean 150 bucks 200 if it's not on sale totally worth it you know it's got a good bar and chain it's got a, ch a good chain brake system it's got a safety chain on it. it's almost impossible for kickback um, easy access no tools needed to take the filter cover off or the filter. Um, it's got a throttle lock. It's got a bucking spike. Um, it's got an. Um, you can adjust the oiling system on it. So I mean, for 150 bucks, I mean, what are you? What more do you expect? You got a primer bulb here. Yeah, like a really, really good buy for for the price. And it's 52 cc. So I'm just gonna run it. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this off for. For a long time and then i'll do a, a review down the road maybe in a, a couple years or something i'll do a follow-up video here after i do some decent cutting but so far it's good it's running really rich right now you can tell in the video there it's it, you know once it's broken in then i'll i'll adjust it uh, a little bit leaner there it's running lean on the low end rich in the top end so we'll fix that up and uh see what we have i'm gonna keep running at a 40 to 1 that's what i run my saws at they call for 50 to 1 i like 40 and uh it's easy starting, you know, it's good, good machine, good saw. <laughs> Till next time.